Google Ads keywords. What are they and how do they work? What's up, everyone? My name is Marcus Fedin, and welcome to my channel where I discuss all things Google advertising, YouTube advertising, and display network advertising, and how you can use these three amazing platforms to grow and scale your business. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing Google keyword match types, right? Google keywords and their match types and exactly what the hell these things are and how do they work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss what they are, okay, how they work, and then we're going to jump into the back end of a Google Ads account and show you exactly how to set them up and what they actually look like when you're advertising on Google. All right, so what are Google keywords? Basically, Google keywords in a nutshell are search phrases, right? Or search terms that you are advertising on. So when someone goes to the Google search bar and they type in a specific search term or search term that's related to what you're advertising on, your ad will then show up. So for example, if I'm a physio, right? and I live in Titusville, Titusville, Florida. That's where I was born, okay? Titusville, Florida. Um, and I will advertise on physio in Titusville, right? Or Titusville physio or best physio in Titusville. Or I could do physio near me, okay? And this could really go for any type of service um, or coaching business that may be you know, in a specific area, okay? But it's really great for local service businesses. All right. So that's basically what keywords are. All right. Keywords are search terms. All right. Now, match types. Okay. These are a bit, it's a bit trickier with match types. And I'm going to try and explain it as simple as I possibly can. So there are three different types, right, of, of keyword match types. So the first one is broad match. All right. The second one is phrase match. And the third one is exact match. Now, the, the naming convention of these keywords, I'm sorry, of these match types can be a bit misleading, all right? So essentially, broad match, right? If you type in physio near me, right? And you want to advertise on a broad match keyword, that's physio near me, you can show for all sorts of search terms. So for example, you could show up for physio training or physio certificate training or, or physio, you know, courses near me. You know, it may not necessarily be people who are looking to go to a physio to, you know, to get taken care of. There could be people who are looking for training, right? So broad match types are uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very broad and you get a whole slew of, of results and of, you know, different types of keywords just showing up for. Now, the second type of, of match type is phrase match. All right. So this is the bit, it's a little bit more targeted. So if you have uh, physio near me, right, and you have it in phrase match. Now, phrase match is when you have the quotations around uh, the keyword. Again, I'll show you in, a, in, a, um, in a, uh, the back end of Google Ads in just a second. So phrase match, you have little quotations around your keyword, right? And so basically you're telling Google, look, anyone that types in a, a, a search term that is really similar to this one, okay? So maybe, you know, you might type in physio near me, okay? but you might show up for physio in Titusville, Florida, okay? Or physio in Titusville, all right? So you may not show up exactly for physio near me, but it'll be kind of related to what you're trying to target, all right? And so what this does is allows you to see a whole, you know, a whole bunch of other possible profitable good keywords that you never knew about, okay? So this is one type of match type that I usually always run inside my search campaigns. Now, the next one is exact match, all right? And exact match keywords, they basically have like little square brackets, right, on both ends. 
And what this is saying is telling Google, look, I want my, my uh, ads to only show up if this specific search term is being shown or something that's almost exactly like it, okay? Or, you know, if, if the intent of the person is to find a physio, I want to show up for that particular search. So up until 2021, I think mid 2021, it used to be like exactly like I like if I have physio near me, I will only show up if someone types in physio near me. But they've changed it since like May of last year or in 2021. Um, but now you show up for physio near me and any other search term that shows intent uh, that they're looking for an actual physio. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the back end of Google Ads. And I'm going to show you exactly how to set these up and exactly how they work. All right. So here we are in the back of Titan Marketer's um, ad account. And well, I've recently just set up this new campaign on Google search for people who are looking for, you know, a Google ads um, agency, right, to, you know, run and manage their ads and whatnot. Um, and particularly, we want to, you know, have them apply for our two-week free program. So what we have here, right, is a list of the keywords that I want to advertise on, okay? So when you're, when you're putting in your keywords, right, what will happen is you'll get, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Okay, so a broad match, right? This is what broad map, broad match looks like. So if I typed in Google Ads agency near me, near me, okay, that's a broad match. So see how there's no quotations around it. There's no, you know, no brackets, stuff like that. That's that's just called broad match, okay. And what can happen is, you know, people, you know, my ad may show up for Google Ad courses or Google ad training or information about Google ads or whatever, okay? It may not necessarily be people who are looking for an agency, okay? Now, I don't really want to do that unless I have like a really long tail, you know, search term. So if it's like Google ads agency, you know, or like something like, um, you know, top Google ads agency in Orlando, Right, or something like that. So if it's like a really long, like five five words or more, um, that might be all right. Or if it's for a branding. Okay, so if you have a branded a branding campaign, you use your own brand name, um, then yes, you can do that. You know, using broad is a really good way to go. But if you just like in this case right here, right? Google ads agency near me. Okay, you're not really, I don't really want to use that as a broad match. So what I could do is I could use it as a phrase match. So you put the quotations around here, right? That's phrase match. And then there's exact match, the Google ads agency near me, All right? Okay, so this is exactly what they look like. Now, if you come down here as well, it shows you, Google gives you a bit of an idea. So, this is so a keyword, right? So broad match, no quotations, phrase match with quotations and exact match with the little square brackets, okay? And that's kind of how you want to, you know, uh, do your, your keywords inside your campaigns. If you want to go with broad match, you know, you can, but just you got to keep on top of your negative keywords, right? And I'll get into that in just a second because that's really important, okay? What you want to focus on, though, mostly is you want to focus on phrase match and exact match, right? Because with phrase match, again, as I said, you know, you'll be able to pick up a number of keywords that you'd never thought about that could possibly be quite profitable for your business. Now, I talked about negative keywords, okay? Now, negative keywords are keywords that you usually don't want to show up for, or phrases that you don't want to show up for okay now what you want to do is you come into negative keywords here right and what you do is on negative keywords okay you can add it to your campaign or add it to your ad group okay so let's go with campaign 
right? So we want to do like, for example, free or cheap, okay? Or, you know, and you know, are there any other particular like, you know, training right? or courses, you know? And what you'll find is when you're running traffic, what you'll find is that you'll be able to find these, you know, these specific terms that you want to show up for because you'll see them in your search term report. Okay. So these are negative keywords. You want to keep on top of that hundred percent. So what I'll do now is I will go into um, another account where we've been running ads for quite some time, and I'll show you how to find your search terms and how to add in your negative keywords. All right. So in this particular shot, guys, in this particular account, this is an Australian film a uh, film company that's come to us and they run some film training courses and their accounts not really running very well. Um, and they've asked us to come in and optimize it. So this would be a perfect example. So as you can see here, right, these are the, the different keywords, right, that they're running on. So filmmaking courses, film courses in Melbourne, filmmaking school. Okay. And as you can see, they're all broad match. Okay. So all the keywords, that this, you know, all, all these, all the search terms that this shows up for will be a whole slew, right? So with broad match, we come into here, and we're looking, um, if you click on it, right, you'll be able to find your search term report, okay? And what search terms you're showing up for. So if you click on your particular keyword, right, or you can pick on all of them, but let's just pick this one here, filmmaking course, click on it, and then click on search terms. Right. And this will bring up right, a whole heap of different search terms that they've shown up for. So there's 571 different search terms that people have showed up for. Now, remember, right, their keyword is filmmaking course, filmmaking course. So let's look at some of these keywords that they showed up for. So um, Australian film industry jobs. OK, well, no, there's some course they're looking for jobs. Cinem cinematography course, Melbourne, um, film school. We got here a full-time filmmaker, how to become a producer for film. You know, so I've gone through already and I've already excluded a whole heap of a lot of these keyword or search terms here, right? So 80, so 83 movie making, 180 degrees. So see these, like a lot of these right here, right? Um, you know, I probably wouldn't want to advertise on. So I come into here, and I would just, you select the keywords that you don't want to advertise on, right? And then you click add as a negative keyword, okay? And then what this does is it makes it as exact match. Okay, I'll put campaign. And so that means I will not show up for this exact search term right here, right? So if you put these brackets around it, I won't show up for anything, right? that has 83 movie making. Okay, I want to show that. Now, if I do search, if I do a phrase match, right? Any type of, any type of search term, right? That has 83 movie making in it. So it could be 83 movie making near me or 83 movie making review or whatever it may be, right? I won't show up for that particular search, all right? So if you're going to be running broad match, right? You want to make sure that you keep on top of your negative keywords. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of money on, on keywords that just are not profitable. So all these clicks, right? Click all these one clicks, they're all costing him money. So that one click right here, uh, where's that uh, SA film school? Okay, that cost him $3.21. Mind you, he did get a conversion on that. Okay. Um, I don't know why I excluded, but we'll, we'll should, we should unexclude that. So if you want to unexclude something, okay, you just go back into here um, and you can take it off of your negative keyword list. All right, so you come to negative keyword list and let's find SAE. I got a whole heap. SAE, where is it at? Film school, okay. And all we do, so we click on it, okay. Um, and hit remove. All right. So now we have back onto that search term. So that's guys, that's how you find your different search terms 
for your Google ads and how you add negative keywords in them. So essentially guys, in a nutshell, when you're, when you're putting in your, your keywords, right? You wanna be focusing on phrase match and broad match most of the time. And then if you really want to scale, you know, if you really want to spend, well, not scale, but if you really want to, you know, if you want to spend a lot of money um, and, f you know, f find profitable keywords and, you know, somewhere else that might be, you know, people might be typing in, it might be more, you know, um, out there, then you can use broad match keywords, but make sure you keep on top of your negative search terms. So what was your biggest learning in this particular tutorial? All right, drop in the comment section below what your biggest learning was, what's your biggest aha moment, and what are some other, you know, topics that you guys want to learn about in regards to Google and YouTube and display network advertising? Drop this in the comment section and I will always use the, I'll always try to, you know, comment back um, and I take into consideration what you guys want to see, and I will try and make videos based around your suggestions. Um, you know, if you guys are interested, we at Type Marketer we have a two-week free Google Ads uh, uh, program where we, you know, we set up your Google Ads for free. Uh, we manage them for two weeks. Um, it's by application only, um, and that will be in a link in the description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.